Hello and welcome to the Cryptocurrency News Channel. We're going to talk about Bondly. It has massively crashed because it suffered a hack where people or someone printed like something like 300 million Bondly and then dumped it on the market. The surprising thing is, well, not the most surprising thing. The uh, thing is, when a security firm audited it, you know what it found? It found that the address that dumped got the coins from the owner's address. So it's looking mighty like an exit scam. Yes, people, it is looking mighty like an exit scam. And because that was found out, the price basically has dropped through the floor. Obviously, they didn't really, uh, like, obviously they were just planning a rug pull all along. Now, was it a rug pull from the beginning? Maybe, maybe not. By the way, Bondly is not on Cardano, it's still on Ethereum. If you look at it, it's still an Ethereum smart contract. My guess is like they only made a lot of money when the coin was going up in the bull market and it's been like two months of bearish sentiment. Now, I still think the market's going to go up overall um, once like September or October hits, but it's been about two months and they probably just weren't making money anymore and they figured, well, this is the time that we can actually exit scam and get the most money. So that's why they minted a ton of coins and basically just ran off with the money. And that's why Bondly has dropped through the floor because people know that's not really uh, a viable project anymore since it looks like the owner um, sent the coins and he was the one that actually dumped on the market. Now, I expect a lot more rug pulls from DeFi projects and other like just basically projects that have just come up um, in that sector because in a bearish market, you know, the price of coins are going down. They may not have something really that great to offer in the first place. And at this point, they're like, well, let's just get out before it dips any further and we may not be able to recover. Because you know, marketing and promotion of even projects that are kind of empty shells does take X amount of money. So I want everyone to actually be, care uh, be careful of that. So the thing is like for a lot of these new DeFi, NFTs, et cetera projects, uh, and all like the baby meme coin stuff, like. I don't know if I would really buy them in a bear market because in a bear market, I think you're going to see a lot more rug pulls and I think you're going to see, uh, you know, like a ton more failures. The time to actually throw money at these, like if you lose one or 200 bucks, that's fine, but I definitely wouldn't put like thousands of dollars into these things in a bearish market. Um, the time to actually buy these is like when the bull market kind of starts turning on again because like, those that didn't die or those that are new that just come up when the bull market starts, those are going to be the ones that really blow up. They're going to catch the wave of Bitcoin rising and they're going to blow up. And then after they blow up, they're going to come right back down. So that's when you actually want to buy them, like right before they blow up. I would say like, you know, this fall would be a decent time to maybe throw like a couple hundred bucks at those. Right now may actually not be the time. It's okay if you throw like one or 200 bucks at these projects because, you know, one or 200 bucks isn't that much to lose for most adults that actually have a job. Uh, and that are actually making money. But, um, you know, throwing thousands or tens of thousands, unless you're a millionaire, is just not a very good idea right now. Um, it might be a better idea in the fall, which I don't, I still don't think it's a great idea to throw that much money, but it might be a better idea in the fall, but definitely not a great idea right now. So that's my look at it. I think you'll see a lot more projects like Bondly start to rug pull, um, especially if Bitcoin doesn't turn around in the next couple of weeks. And uh, just hope that you don't have your money too deeply into these new projects that really have improved themselves, especially in this bearish sentiment. All right, that's the news for today. Let me know what you think. Like and subscribe and hit that bell notifications button. Thank you and have a nice day.